Hey everybody, welcome to Mentalist OAS. I'm feeling a bit better. I'm not 100%, but I feel like my voice can carry on without croaking too much. It may sound a little bit deeper than usual, but hey, makes me sound sexy. Mm. Uh, we hope anyway, <laughs> yeah, sexy as this thing can look like. Anyway, so yes, we are here with a review, uh, a new launch from our very good friends over at the 1914. Uh, we have from our very- We did some research and found out that when filming a magic trailer, all you need is for someone to watch a trick, shout f off and run away. So, we decided to put that to the test. Think about your star sign. Think about, are you, be honest with me. Are you a Capricorn? F off. We have from our very good friend, of course, Mr. Simon Lipkin, uh, try harder because apparently his mum didn't like the first video. <laughs> I actually love the first video, to be honest. If you go and get uh, Trifecta, honestly, well worth a download, folks. Lots of good stuff on there. Uh, but this time he has been told he's got to try harder. And I think, um, I think he did try harder. We'll put it that way anyway, but we'll get through to it. Okay, I have actually done a written review of this already. This is available on my Patreon, free of charge, and it will be appearing in the Facebook group as well for those guys who follow me over the Facebook group. Uh, links all down below, the usuals. So while I've still got a bit of voice, let's go. So this is available to stream or download. It's gonna cost you 30 pounds. It was on for 25 pounds for the first week. Uh, I think the 1940s like to do this sort of uh, when it's launched, they knock a fiver off if you buy it within that week, which is fair enough. You know, it's extra for the, you know, people get the emails. So if you do sign up, you'll get emails about this. Uh, but I paid 30 quid, so no problems there at all. Um, obviously, I've got links to that in the actual uh, document PDF I put out as well. So Simon Litkin makes a triumphant return to the 1914 studio with longer hair, and we will get to his hair later in the video. Do not worry, we're gonna rip into that something chronic. <laughs> Remain calm. So, and again, he's gonna be bringing us more of his uh, upbeat tempo uh, mentalism, and uh, yes, that he does. So, uh, according to the actual ad copy, you will get key decisions, which is a, um, a classic in mentalism, which is a padlock, spectators ring, <gasps> And will they make the right choice? Uh, only you, the men's list, can do that. And of course, then you get music to their ears, which is a book test. Book test. Book tests. Book tests. Musical. Book tests. Music to my ears. Book test. Yeah, you'll get the song from the thing when he does it. It's brilliant. Um, so this is his version, which is actually, I really like this because this works with any book. Yeah, no gamut, no gift, no. Book, special books needed for this one, which is really good. You then get Set the Bar, or STB, which is a little marking system that I believe Simon came up with and gives us a little bit of chance to play around with that. And then we get, of course, another star sign revelation time. They're not gonna notice it's me. They won't, they won't, the run, they won't, fine. Have it your way, do it for real. Okay, think of it. just say it over and over again and you keep saying that I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a Sagittarius. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. okay, no, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, it's alright, it's alright, come here, come here. How have you done that? Is that true? Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, don't worry, this is a good one. And this one is uh, Simon's own version of this using something which allows you to do like a little two-phase routine and it has a nice little ending that at the very end they get to keep the card, which is really, really good. So let's get down to reviewing all the bits and pieces. I'm gonna go through my document here just to make sure that I'm doing the stuff. The cat here next to me is playing up because he wants attention, bless him. He's pushing against the bathroom door. He wants to go in the bathroom. No. Right, okay, so we'll get an introduction. So this is where we get introduced to Simon. Who is he? What does he do? Who is his daddy? What does he do? Uh, we get that basically, which is really nice. And then we get, of course, the key decisions performance. So this is where Simon sits down with D and they basically go through the padlock routine and you get to see how it would play out in the real world. I will come back to those in a moment, don't worry. We then get the method, which is where Simon basically shows you the method. Very sneaky. Uh, there is actually a key decisions uh, variation. So if you don't happen to have one of the things that you need, uh, you can work around it. So that, I think that's really nice to do. And I think also they should have pointed out as well, um, you've got to be careful what material the keys are made from for this to work properly. Uh, but I think any of you guys out there who probably know a little bit about padlock tricks as well will probably know that. Yeah, the padlock is ungimmicked. The keys are ungimmicked. Um, 
it just uses a super sneaky clever method which only some looking could have came up with <laughs> but i do like one it is quite good now we get the book test book test uh which is basically music to my ears in this one uh we get a performance video where simon and d sit down to do the bit the uh to do the do the test folks and then we get an introduction video to the music to my ears this is where simon sits down and gets you a little bit ready you know he sits you down makes you sure you're comfortable gives you a nice cup of tea and a biscuit and gets you ready for what's happening here which i think is kind of nice um we also then get taught for the music to my ears we actually get taught the acidus novus peak um this is not an in-depth one by the way this is just a very quick obviously in because obviously everything is credited to um, to Millard Longman on this one. Um, he just does a very quick version and, of course, uh, does ask you, the viewer, to go and investigate that further yourself and maybe go over to Millard's website or want to buy one of his downloads or something as well to help support him and get a lot more information about how the Aston Nova's week. I was actually a little bit surprised here because they didn't reference they referenced the penguin lecture that's all right no problems uh richard osland you know no problems there. but they didn't go back and reference their own one of their own creations on the 1914 which is of course uh, revelations by lewis laval um he teaches uh, in quite good detail the uh the actual acidus novus peak uh so i'm surprised they didn't reference that back on their own material maybe it's something that got missed i don't know but i've put it in my notes where you can get it from and download it again it's lewis laval excellent teacher excellent guy and then eventually we get the video where music to my ears method and you know this is the peak part over out with the setups over and done with and uh, away you go and he will actually go through and teach you how to work and it is it is a really nice i love the methodology on this one uh you can tell simon lipkin does have a bit of the old big brain going on there he likes he likes these challenges and he's took it on and he's found this really good way and it doesn't have to be a music book. It can be any book you like within reason, but he explains that in the first one. Uh, but you don't have to do music books. You could do other books with this, and it's a super cheeky, super brilliant way of doing it, but it will need two spectators ideally. This is gonna be like for a couple, I would think. Uh, on a single person, you might want to use um, methods as taught by Alexander Marsh. He does a really super simple one book test, uh, one book, one book test, one person set up, uh, worth checking out. I have reviewed it. Um, it's somewhere floating around in the, uh, in the internet. So, okay, now we get to, of course, seasonal star signs itself. Uh, his, uh, and I do love the fact that he says, that's what we need. We need another. Again, this is his version. Uh, this usually is something very unique. Um, don't worry, you do get the video, you do get the PDF file, so you can print these out yourself. It's basically a little card that you print out, and utilizing that card, you can first of all uh, divinate, and this is what they do in the instructional video, and of course in the um, uh, the actual method as well. This is taught, and it's a very it uses a, a system that we all know and love called binary. Uh, he teaches you all the ins and outs of it, how to do it, how to calculate, all that lovely stuff. But at the end of it, you do get a second option where you get to get their birthday. So they call upon a friend, a loved one, you get their birth, you get their star sign, and then they put their birthday, you get their star sign, and they get to keep it as well, because obviously it's a very clever method. And I do love it when you get stuff that you can let people keep or they can handle freely. Just really brings the bar up. Oh, I'm talking of the bar. Hey, <laughs> Um, we now come on to the STB or set the bar marking system. Uh, this is uh, first of all, uh, we get the first video which explains how this system works, a little bit how he came up with it and how it can work and use for you. He also does a little recap, and that's basically a bit more of a in the video, it's a bit more of a close up of how everything's being put together. So, you I don't know what I'm doing this for. Weird hand. Thank you. Uh, you can pick up and obviously do. And to help you with it, he does give you his version of, and there's also a recap as well. So they go through it about three times just to really help you get it down as well, which I think is really good. And you get what's called the STB credit card smash performance. So Simon and D sit down. Uh, I believe it's his uh, equity card is put into danger. <sighs> oh, danger, Will Robinson. And basically he uses this system to show how you can actually snap these sort of uh, he uses like those plastic cards you can get from Amazon, the plain ones, which look like credit cards, feel like credit cards, but of course are not credit cards or any card of any description. And you proceed to smash these up or snap them. And of course, at the very end, of course, 
you know what's going to happen. I think you can. So you get a performance of that. You then get the actual method where Simon walks you through the methodology. Again, really clever, really like this one. And it has some extra layers to it, which make it look even more impossible of putting the cards in envelopes. And the met envelopes are not marked, which is really good. Well, they are kind of marked, but uh, I'll, let, I'll let Simon explain the details to you. That's not my job. He also does a levy, using the same set the bar system, or STB, he uses a living dead performance showing his version, which is really nice. Um, they obviously have a performance with D, Christopher and Simon. They then go through the method, which I mean, living or death, uh, that's been done. That's one of the classics of mentalism. This is just Simon's version of it. So uh, really well done though, really liked it, I have to admit. Uh, and again, he gives you some additional ideas about this. He wants you to go and run free and rampant with the system and try it out for yourself, try it with different things to be, um, and that's something I do like about some. He doesn't want you to become a carbon copy of his effects. He wants you to go out there and mix it up and make it your own, which I think is an important thing in any magic, mentalism, mental magic, anything in life, to be honest with you. And then, of course, they do bring up an alternative version, which uh, uses everybody's favourite wallet from the 1914, and that's, of course, the Orphic. And then, of course, they yeah, and they teach the method to it. But if you've already got the Orphic wallet, you've probably got something in there which is already very similar anyway. Way, but again this is Simon's interpretation of using it I believe in Lewis's his he actually uses for the padlock effect so a little bit of a switch around there as well hey a switch around with a switch around with a switching wallet <gasps> switch section so yes and then of course we finally get the outro and we do end on a song but we also do get some uh, rather wise words for you to dwell on and look so yes and then obviously in the additional section on the website you get the two additional files the PDFs for making the special cards <gasps> Oh man, Whew. excuse me, I'm just going to have to literally take a sip of coffee. Ah, nice and sound. How are you guys getting on? You alright? Good day? All that thing cleared up? Excellent, good. And that reminds me, I must get the uh, chicken wings out of the fridge laser as well. And we're back. Okay, so that was a run over of all the files you get to download or stream. Uh, the view itself, I mean, in my document, I pretty much cover everything there. I hopefully do because I've done for each video and just giving you my feedback on each video. But now, of course, we can now put the heavy tablet down. It does feel heavy because it hurt my hands. I'm weak. I'm ill. Can't you tell? Right. So, yeah. So, Sam Lipkin, um, very entertaining. Uh, all his videos so far, he is very quick witted. Uh, you know, he, he just, even when he's doing the teaching, he will suddenly break the fourth wall and pull out D or Jack and take the mickey of him. He does actually at one point tell him to beep off, uh, which is really funny. But again, that's that playfulness that I like. It just makes it an enjoyable watch. Uh, the videos aren't humanly long, but there's a lot of them. Uh, however, you can pick and choose stuff you want from there as well. Uh, the teaching was really good. Again, it's 1914. So in terms of video, audio, presentation, it's it's all high standard as per usual. One of the reasons why I'm a big 1914 fan is that everything they release is good. And in most cases, it's bloody good. And in some cases, it can be, uh, whoa, mind explodes. But that's what we like to see. Even though they haven't got like a massive catalogue of thousands and thousands of videos and downloads, what they have got is good and I do like that about the 1914 so please keep that up guys you're doing fantastic uh, but back to Simon of course so he can uh, sit there and let his ego inflate <laughs> nah he's not like that at all really nice guy um, I did actually send him a copy of the review I'd done written wise he loved it so there you go Simon I told you I'll get this done uh, but now if you watch Trifecta you have got this is definitely better than Trifecta uh, but to me Trifecta was like the He's cycling in on his little bike and training wheels. On this one, he's coming in and the training wheels are gone and he's popping a wheelie in the studio. Figuratively, of course, don't worry. Uh, he doesn't actually do it, but he might do, you never know. So you've got to think if it's try, one, two, this is second, there could be a third one. Is Simon working on maybe triumphant, where he comes in with the real big guns? We'll have to wait and see, folks. We'll have to wait and see. But now, nah, uh, teaching off it was really good. He covered details. Uh, everything kind of makes sense. Motivation was really good. Um, you know, I couldn't really see any major weaknesses in any of the effects. Uh, but then all effects do have inherited sometimes moments where you've got to be a bit careful. You can obviously see Simon's tried to either cover these over or just take them out and use a slightly different system, which is really good. Uh, it does show his big brain thinking on that as well. And uh, yeah, I don't think there was really one bad effect to be found in the download. Everything was solid working material. Um, 
Now, what more can I say uh, apart from his hair? Yes, he does lose marks for the hair. Um, it's, uh, you see, you know, I, I am follically challenged. I understand that. I do get jealous very easily of other men who have big manes of hair. Uh, when you get to my age and this happens, I'm afraid, you know, my hairline used to be across here. That's now long gone. Uh, when Simon comes in and then he's got this big woof, wafty, wafty, you know, brown wavy hair all over the place, it does make me jealous, I will admit, and it will lose marks for that. Next time, Simon, wear a hat. Think of all the other people around, people who haven't got hair like that. You know, it's very hard for us guys to go for that, but I've managed to beat mine by wearing a hat. Ha <laughs> ha, see, look. Uh, but then I look cooler in a hat than Simon. So yeah, uh, but no, going back to seriousness, folks, yeah, really good strong stuff here. He's covering lots of areas of mentalism. Uh, who is this suited for? I would say really the beginner and intermediate would probably feel very at home with these as well. They'll be learning some systems, some important methodology in mentalism itself. And I think if you were to go from trifecta to try harder, you're going to have a nice big selection of routines that you can do. Pick and choose the ones you like, of course. Uh, you can't please everybody but I think there's enough there that if somebody does buy it and maybe knows a lot of it there'll be a few little nuggets there that they will like um, the more advanced mentalists such as the performers who do this day to day year to year month to month whatever um, I think they would still probably buy it because you notice that when people get to a certain level uh, they realise that they still need to sometimes look back a bit and make sure everything's in place there is nothing there's never ever anything wrong about going back to basics guys there's nothing wrong with perhaps picking up a beginner's one and doing this you know you can actually uh you know you you know it, it's nice to go back to simplicity even if you're doing advanced electronics cold reading you're it's nice sometimes to go back to the slightly old-fashioned not using apps basically i'm not really an app user but going back and enjoying stuff like this as well so yeah so i think even people who've been doing this for 20 30 40 50 80 plus years could go back to this and probably still find stuff that there'd be oh forgot about that or oh, oh that's a good way of doing it and that's what people do and if they get a few of those that 30 quid is then very well spent so for 30 quid is it worth it yes definitely um especially if you're beginner intermediate uh definitely say that you're going to learn a lot from this and you're going to have stuff that you can play around with. i do love at the very end and well done for simon for doing this and saying to people look don't be a carbon copy of me take these effects take the ideas the methods any key bits and pieces you want and go and do your own stuff with it, or twist and mould it to suit you, which I think is very important. You know, nobody wants to be a carbon copy of another magician or mentalist. It's nice to put your personality into your magic. That will make it better for you and better for your spectator as well. So there you go. So yeah, so um, Try Harder by Simon Licken from the 1914. Double thumbs up. Really love this one. And I hope we do see a little bit more from Simon in the future as well. Um, he's an actor, so that is that. But I think he could quite easily give up acting and become a full-time mentalist. And I think he would do really, really well. Okay, guys. Uh, voices starting to go. I will catch you all on the other side. Thank you for watching the view. Like, subscribe, and shout out obviously to Dr. David Goldman for his continued support. Uh, shout out to all the other guys that do reviews there. I do have your links in my YouTube comments below. So if anybody wants to find more reviewers to go and get different angles, different views from a certain point of view, uh, please go and check those out. You know, I've got links to all the, most of the big, big wigs out there. Chris Edwards, uh, David from Magic Orthodoxy, ST Magic Reviews. Oh, I've got, there's quite a few down there worth checking out. And I try and add, anybody I find that new, I do try and add to down there. So you guys can not only take my word for it, because... As we found out when I did the review for Hot, Hot seems to be a bit of a mar Marmite product. A lot of people seem to like it. A lot of people don't seem to like it. And there's a few people I don't like it, do like it. That will happen. I mean, a review is as good as its reviewer. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Uh, but, you know, for different people, different people, you know, we're all going to, I'm going to love tricks that people hate. People are going to hate tricks that I love. It's just the nature of reviews. I'm just trying to give you guys what I feel is good and bad, just so it helps you. But please, please, please do go elsewhere. Don't feel you have to watch my channel all the time. I am not the voice of reviews. That's David over at Magic Orthodoxy, really. He is the OG. Go and check out their reviews as well and then make a decision. And then hopefully you can invest your money, get some good uh, mentalism and go out there, perform and blow some minds basically so then guys thank you so much for staying with me hopefully my voice hasn't been too bad i've tried to do something with the features but um you know i can only do so much with this uh with this beaten up poor old tired face 
But you guys, go out there, enjoy, have fun, and I will catch you all on the next review. So until then, stay sexy. Bye for now.